today we celebrate the uh, feast of St. Gregory the Great, a uh, son of a set Roman senator, uh, did very well in government himself, and when his father died, he um, sold everything he had, uh, built four uh, monasteries, uh, one of which he entered himself, and gave the rest uh, to the poor. Now the thing about giving up uh, the things of this world, uh, because you realise that God has got so much more in store for you, you think the gifts and the talents of the pastor may never see the light of day again. And in fact, his experience of government came in very, very handy in that he became uh, the Pope himself and uh, was uh, the guy that sent Augustine uh, to England. Uh, Christianity had already hit the shores uh, through the Celts and the Celtic Church, but it was Augustine that was sent by Rome and Gregory sent lots of letters of encouragement long after he'd sent him over here. Um, bishops uh, have uh, crooks, as uh, we know, or croziers, and of course every shepherd, as we hear in the 23rd Psalm, has a rod and a staff, uh, one for rescue and the other for uh, direction. So we have those here uh, together with a few mitres uh, there too. So we'll um, give thanks for all in leadership in the church this day and pray for them. And for the times that we haven't been that grateful for their counsel or what they've had to teach us so uh, we say sorry but safe in the knowledge that God is there in the midst of it all uh, encouraging us to grow in faith and in love. You Lord Jesus are the good shepherd and every generation you raise up overseers to shepherd the church of God that you obtained with your blood. And as sinners, uh, we call to mind the times when we have failed to hear your voice and are uh, not followed where you have led. Lord Jesus, you call by name those who are yours. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us in the right paths for your name's sake. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the door of the sheepfold. Those who enter by you will be saved. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our collect for this day. Merciful Father, who chose your Bishop Gregory to be a servant of the servants of God, grant that like him, we may ever long to serve you by proclaiming your gospel to the nations and may ever rejoice to sing your praises through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So let's hear our holy gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus called the disciples and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognise as their rulers, lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be servant of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life to ransom for many. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So let's declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as together we pray. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So let's uh, turn to God in prayer. 
Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. And we ask you to bring the light and the peace of your gospel to all the nations, especially those who are struggling at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life, and we ask you to give food to the hungry and to nourish each and every one of us with your most holy blood. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are our way, our truth, and our life. We ask you to be with us and all who do their best to follow your way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your love and your life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd who gave your life for the sheep. We ask you to recover the straggler, to bind up the injured and strengthen the sick. To lead the healthy and the strong to new pastures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. We give thanks for all who have believed and died and gone before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread and wine to set before you. Fruit of the earth and vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. Shepherd of Israel, your Flock is never without care. Accept our sacrifice of praise and grant that your church may always rejoice in faithful pastors, servants of Christ, and stewards of your mysteries. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good and our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Today we honour Gregory, who in your loving providence enabled your church to grow in spirit as the body of Christ. To your children they faithfully proclaim the good news of salvation and nourish them by ministering your sacraments. Through a pastor's love, he led your people to share your grace and witness to the world in the communion of one true faith in the work of selfless charity. On this, their feast, we join with them to praise you and in the company of angels and all the hosts of heaven, we sing forever of your glory as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts. The broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, shared it with them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took a cup of wine. Again he gave you thanks shared it and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, as we remember all that Jesus did, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. 
We set before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day and your justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth, and your kingdom come. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with St. Gregory, St. Swithin, St. Mary, St. Andrew, and... Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ broken for us. The blood of Christ shed for us. So let us pray. God of truth, whose wisdom set her table and invited us to eat the bread and drink the wine of the kingdom, help us to lay aside all foolishness and to live and walk in the way of insight, that we may come with Gregory to the eternal feast of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Christ, the good shepherd who laid down his life for the sheep, draw you and all who hear his voice to be one flock within one fold. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, among you and remain with you always. Amen. Our Lord says, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. May the Lord, when he does come, 